It's been well over a decade since the last Toyota Tundra was introduced. It took them a long time, but I think they got it. Or did they crack the code of the full-size half-ton pickup truck market that's been highly competitive and ruled by the Detroit 3? Well, what we have here is a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Let's find out if they actually did crack the code. I'm Randy Stern. Behind the camera is George Torline, and this is Victory in Reseda. The Toyota Tundra underwent massive changes for 2022. The new generation model features a new fully box frame, fully independent multi-link rear suspension, and an entirely new driveline. All of this lies underneath a brand new box and cab that gives the competition something visual to battle against. When you look at the cab, you get the biggest grill in its class. This is not just for aesthetics, but for greater airflow into the engine area. The rest of the cab features a rakish windshield angle and four large opening doors on this Crew Max version. Out back is a five and a half foot box that is standard on Crew Max models that completed the look of this limited trim model. This tester also adds the TRD off-road package, which include these 20 inch alloy wheels, some decals, and an off-road suspension using Bilstein shocks along with additional skid plates, mud guards, and other details inside and out. Among the off-road aids that this tester has includes multi-terrain select, crawl control, and downhill assist control. Since we're talking about the interior, let's talk about the instrument cluster that offers two analog dials and a digital information screen in between them. Above the center stack is a 14-inch multimedia screen that dominates the entire interior and for good reason. It houses everything including wireless smartphone connectivity and onboard Wi-Fi, to name a few. JBL also adds 12 speakers to this infotainment system. The Softex front seats are very large and quite comfortable and supportive. Rear seat room offers generous leg and headroom for three people across. In all, this is a very accommodating cabin with lots of storage space for practically everything. Even better, there's a shifter for the automatic transmission. As I said before, everything is new underneath the skin and that includes this new iForce 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. It puts out 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Coming later this year is the new iForce Max engine combining a twin turbocharged V6 with a hybrid driveline. That puts out 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. My tester's driveline is connected to a new 10-speed automatic transmission and a four-wheel drive system using a two-speed transfer case. Compared to the last generation's V8 engine, there is more upfront performance and improved acceleration. It is also quieter, even with the raspy exhaust note. And unlike the previous generation of the Tundra, the driveline is solidly attached to the frame. In this configuration, the maximum tow capacity is 11,120 pounds, with a maximum payload rating of 1,740 pounds. In the previous generation Tundra, we experienced lower fuel economy than average compared to its main competitors. However, we can assure you that we're seeing improved fuel economy numbers, much better than not only the previous generation Tundra, but also some of its main competitors. Because of the new independent rear suspension, the ride quality is much better overall. The way the Tundra handles rougher sections of the road has greatly improved over last generation's model. Handling is much more controlled with some lean and roll when you push the limits on the curves. Of course, I would have to remind you that yes, 
it is a pickup truck and one should drive it accordingly. The brakes were fantastic, offering a solid pedal feel and great response to the wheels. The Tundra return, good, normal, and panic stops. The steering system is where we had several concerns. The turning radius was considered average among full-size half-ton pickup trucks, as does the on-center feel. It will take several turns to get out of tight situations. The system itself is pretty responsive. The 2022 Toyota Tundra comes in seven trim levels with two cab choices, three bed sizes, and three engines. Pricing for the Tundra lineup starts at $35,950. Our limited tester with the Crew Max cab, five and a half foot box, and the TRD off-road package came with a sticker price of $60,188. Well, having said all that, the question needs to be answered. Has Toyota cracked the code of the full-size half-ton pickup market? I think they did. It's a wonderful truck. It's a very good truck, good for work, good for play, but I'd love to hear from you. So, down in the comments, tell me what you think, it, whether Toyota has cracked the code or whether you like the Tundra or not. So if you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to find out when the next video comes up from us. Also, don't forget to log on to randystern.net to read all the great content in Victory and Rosita. I'm Randy Stern, behind the camera is George Torline. Thank you for watching.